or what's up savages today we're headed back over to get loaded guns and ammo to visit dave again last time we were there he showed us a really cool get home bag that he had in his truck we figured this might be a perfect opportunity to head back over there and ambush him with a little tactical trunk tuesday stay tuned it should be a good show Dave, so we stopped by today. Last time we came here, uh, you talked a little bit about um, some of the stuff you carry in your truck. So I know you're really busy. Uh, you just got back from a gun show and everything, but I was hoping that maybe we could do an episode of Tactical Trunk Tuesday. You have anything in your, in your truck right now? Maybe a get home bag or anything like that? I do. Cool. Can we see it? Yeah, we can. Awesome. First things first, the thing I love most about it, it doesn't look tactical. It's like the gray man thing. Yeah, you know, I carried a, a TAC backpack for a long time and everybody goes, hey man, what do you got in that thing? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with a regular backpack. And uh, when it's in the truck, when I go into the store or something, it looks like I'm a college student. So Awesome. Well, let's dive in. What do you got? All right. So first things first, uh, carry a little bit of water. Awesome. Uh, a bottle of water. That's probably one of the most important things. Cool. So quick access stuff on the outside. I've got, uh, I've got a bandage in case I fall down, spring my ankle or something like that. Cool. Medical stuff. A little bit of medical stuff. I've got uh, some fuel for okay. cooking. A uh, little bit of powder for the feet yep. in case we got a long walk. Or, or other chafing, right? Or other chafing, yeah. It's getting hot, it's summertime now. Right. So, uh, first outside pocket, I just kind of keep some stuff that's quick. Um, so, some wet ones. Okay. You know, we got to use the bathroom, clean ourselves up. Um, I've got a, a fire kit with. Uh, all the, the you know, easiest ways to start fires. What's your favorite way to start a fire? It looks like you got a lot of different things in here. Uh, what, what is this right here? So that's shaved magnesium. Okay. I don't care for the, the magnesium blocks. Neither do we. It's really hard to shave off. Agreed. So I, a buddy of mine's actually a machinist and he's got tons of that stuff. So he lets me come and get some and I, I just put a little bit in a bag that way I don't have to mess with, with uh, shaving it down. I can just uh, throw a ferro rod on it and I'm good to go. Boom. Yeah, it looks like you got a barrel rod in here. You got some fat one. What's your favorite uh, way to start a fire? Um, you know what? I, I like uh, cotton balls and uh, Vaseline and ferro rod. Boom. Yeah, that's uh, all. Or, or a lighter. Yep. So Awesome. Um, so moving on, I've got uh, a few tent stakes here. Cool. Uh, part of my shelter system. Looks like fairly high quality. Yeah, they're titanium. Metal. They're real light. Um, got my tarp. Okay, shelter. Got my shelter, yep. Uh, Multi-tool. Leatherman, can't ever go wrong with Leatherman. Nope. Um, I've got a couple backup lights. Okay. Uh, I know the last time we did your video uh, on your EDC pocket dump, you carry a light on you as well, so yep. these are backups. Oh yeah. A um, couple markers. Okay. I've got a couple writing pins. All right. A couple uh, chem lights for signaling and all that good stuff. Okay, which are more lights as well. Right. In case batteries or something fail. That's it. And then I've got a spare knife. I usually always have a knife on me as well. Okay. But, uh, redundancy is key. That's true. So, and then I've got my handy little uh, eating utensil here. Uh, that also has got the knife in the end. I've been so, meaning to pick that up. It's K bar, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah they're, they're actually really cool, man. Spoon, fork, and knife all in wood. So. One of the things I like about this, real quick, is the uh, MREs. The yes. MREs are deep and stuff like that. So, yeah. small little ones yeah. don't really work out all that well. No, so it's a nice piece. Um, so that's it for my first pocket. This pocket here is more of stuff that you know I kind of carry every day. I got a couple of medications that I use, so I'm always you know need to have those with me. Um, I've got a spare magazine for the gun, for the holster, um, spare lighter as well. Uh, I've got a uh, battery pack for charging my phone. That's that's great. You know, I had an accident with my kid, and we showed up to the hospital. Our phones died. And and that's what got us through. Absolutely. We've got a couple spare uh, harnesses for whatever I need to charge. A bunch of different types of chargers on there. Cool. Uh, a little bit of some headphones. Awesome. And then depending on the way I'm running my gun that particular day, I have an XC1 uh, Surefire Attack Light. Okay. So sometimes I have it on there, sometimes I don't. But it's there if I need it. Well, you got a lot of light. That's good. <laughs> no, that's real good. 
Um, so speaking of lights, I actually have uh, one of the Streamlight uh, headlamps. And, um, you know, when you're when you're working at night, you know, you, you need to have both your hands. So that's why I carry a headlamp. You have to have something. I mean, you can only do the, the flashlight and the mouth things so long. Yeah, you know? you're absolutely right about that. So, Real quick, uh, you have a sealer, a back sealer or something? Yeah, you know what I do? So some of the things that are in here that I don't want to get wet, if this bag falls in water or something like that, I have some of my important stuff that are sealed in bags. So uh, that, that really helps. I don't have to worry about this pack getting wet. Um, and also it helps to kind of con combine stuff and save space. And, and keep things organized. Keep things organized and I don't have to, I can look and see what's in there if I need it or not instead of different pouches and whatnot. So uh, meal tape, this stuff is great. I think it's got like a 3,400 pound tensile spring. Wow. I've actually yanked trucks out of the mud with this stuff. You know, really? double, triple it up. And this stuff, I mean, for portage, you can't go wrong. And one of the C's, right? One of the C's. Um, the other thing I got, I got, uh, I carry some mini bolt cutters. These are Nipex. Okay. Um, if if I gotta get home, you know, I may have to go through a fence. Absolutely. I may have to. I may not always be able to take the freeway. Mm -hmm. So something like this is kind of awesome to have, and you know, it's gonna get us where we need to go. I don't think I've ever seen anybody carry uh, small little. Bolt you know what? They're they're right? kind of expensive. They're not too heavy, but uh, the way they're designed, I mean, they'll cut a small lock. They'll, I mean, you, you can get through some stuff with these things. That's awesome. Didn't we'll do a review on these because I want to pick some up anyways. Um, let's see. I've got my uh, Baofeng ham radio. For communication. Yep. I've got my main knife, which is a uh, an SE laser strike. I really like that knife. I'm not yeah. gonna lie to you. I like it. I like the fact that you know they have this little it's thing got for the a bow drill. Yeah. 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 This is a awesome knife. I love them. Yeah. SE makes a good a good product. So and then if I was walking, of course, some of the stuff would come out and go in my pockets. So I'll probably put this on my belt. You know, not everything is gonna stay in the backpack. The whole time. Uh, I've got spare batteries for everything that I run, so double A's, triple A's, and uh, CR123's. Okay. Um, oh, that's those. sealed as well, so that's good. That's sealed. Um, I've got uh, my water kit, which is just um, tabs and uh, straw. Okay. So we can clean and disinfect our water. The straw is nice because then you can do something immediate, and the tabs are nice because you can do it a little, little bit larger. Absolutely. And then we, I, I have the stuff to do a, a third and final method, which is boiling. So, oh, okay. Um, this is my little med kit right here. This is just kind of a boo-boo kit. It's got a couple things. And again, I like these bags because I can see what's in there. Absolutely. So that's that's pretty cool. They're not going to get wet. So. Right. The, 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 this is a great idea. A lot of people don't think about bringing little medications and stuff like that. So that's awesome. Um, okay, this guy. I forgot to go over this stuff. So this is, uh, again, if we're trying to get home, we may not be able to take the freeway. So this is a, a lock pick. It's a, a spring-loaded pick that you can get in there. And I, I've actually got my car door open with this. And, wow. um, you got to kind of know how to use them, but it's something very good to have. Yeah, for sure. And this thing, this is the tension bar right here on the side, right? Yep. So this, this guy work? comes off right there. Your tension bar comes out. You lock this forward, and now you can uh, you can go to work. Man, that's awesome. And uh, like I said, it's a little tricky at first, but okay. if you do a little bit of practice, you can, you can get pretty good with this thing. Uh, I'm going to just real quick for my viewers, a Dyno Quick Pick. That thing's really cool. And it comes with a rig. I wonder if it has replacement picks that you can get. Um, I believe they do. And those are only about 20 bucks. Really? So, I mean, they're, they're pretty inexpensive uh, for what it does. One of the things people have problems with when they're picking locks is not having a good handle to hold on to. So that's sure. really nice. Yeah, it, it works pretty well. I can't complain about it. Um, I also, right here, I keep a compass, uh, a signaling device, and a small knife sharpener. Oh, awesome. That's cool. So, a little, little beer opener. Yep. Got, got gotta, to get home. Got to be open to beers, man. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. In my, my last, uh, this last pocket here, I've got uh, just kind of a miscellaneous. I've got some duct tape, a couple trash bags, zip ties. Fishing line, toothbrushes, earplugs, uh, notepad, just kind of. Okay. Uh, you catch all everything else. Stuff. Yep. All right. That's a great idea. All right. Any pocket here? So I carry a Glock 19 every day. Okay. And so I actually carry a spare holster. When I'm not running my light, I have a different holster. And if I decide to use my light, I've got an NSR tactical holster that will accommodate my light. Okay. So I can switch out if I need to. Well, that's awesome. something that most people wouldn't think of either. Um, couple, couple more mags. Okay. In the holder. 
Um, this here is just kind of my food kit. Uh, I've got an MRE and I've got uh, just some miscellaneous stuff in here, you know, trail mix, stuff like that. Yep. Got to be able to eat. That's right, especially if it's going to take a while to get home. So this is my, my blowout kit. Um, I believe everybody should have one of these in their pack. This isn't really a boo-boo kit like this. This is more for serious blood loss, stuff like that. So this has everything you need, chest seals, quick clot, trauma shears, you know, Israeli bandages, Gloss. your nasal pharyngeals, decompression needles, all that good stuff in there to take care of serious injuries. The nuts and bolts of what you need in the knife bag. That's it. Um, so then I've got uh, uh, Bitty to go along with my um, my shelter kit. Okay. So if I need to, I can pitch my tarp, you know, climb into this, and I'm good to go Keep for the night. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you can actually, you know, take some trash or some leaves, stuff them in the trash bags, lay on top of that, and you're in your bivy with your tarp over you, and you can actually be pretty comfortable out there. That's really super lightweight. Very light. And, and, and it's much thicker than some of the cheaper ones that, that you'll find. Um, in here, I carry a, a beanie, a fleece cap, and uh, some extra socks and some extra undies. Um, you know, maybe a day or two before I get home. So, yeah. uh, keeping your feet dry and clean and uh, staying warm is a necessity. Absolutely. Um, in here is my cooking kit, which is a cup and there's a bank line in there. There's actually a stove inside of there. Uh, everything I need to cook. And that's, what you're, that's what you were talking about earlier, you boil water. So sure. It's your, your third method. I've got a couple bandanas in there, so if I need to filter water. Or, okay. Uh, so there's lots of stuff in there. Um, and the last thing I carry, uh, just in case I need to collect more water than what's in my bottle, I've got a uh, two liter uh, bladder. Okay. In the so if God forbid you're stuck here somewhere, or you can throw a couple pills in there, a couple of the iodine tablets, and, and filter a larger thing. That's Absolutely. a great idea. And all together, um, I've weighed this pack. I know weight is a big thing. Um, ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain. Um, although there are some things in here that maybe I don't need that are kind of comfort items, this pack with water is only at about 24 pounds. Oh, wow. So that's not too bad. Um, this is going to be able to sustain you far longer than just getting home, too. This is, I know you call it, this is your get home bag, but. There's a lot of stuff in here that can sustain you for a few days. Yeah, you can go, I mean, you can go way more minimalist than this, but uh, I do want to be comfortable, and at 24 pounds, you know, that's that's not that bad. Uh, so, yeah. This, All right, man. Carry every day. All right, Dave, hey, thanks for taking the time. I know you're really busy in there. You had a lot of customers. You guys just came back from the uh, gun show. We really appreciate you taking the time to come and show us your little get-home back for this episode of Tackle. Tactical Trunk Tuesday. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for having me again. Thank you Appreciate very much. It. Hey, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, stay savage. Get loaded, guns and ammo, <laughs> to go check out a get home bag, or get to the hospital bag for when I deliver. <laughs> How's that? Was that labored enough for you? <laughs>